What's up guys? Welcome to another edition of K Cards Baseball. Thanks for joining me tonight on this fine Thursday evening, wherever you might be. I'm actually going to be busy tomorrow night, so I thought I would make the hobby news video a day early. I was actually planning on doing a video about the current top five prospects going into the second half of the season and who we might expect to be called up during the second half of the season with their rookie cards and what would be really good values of each one of those players. But then I happened to check out the Hobby News on the Sports Card Daily website, and I saw that Top's Finest is going to be released, and they have all the release information in it, so I thought that that was kind of more important to cover than the current top five finest does happen to be one of my very favorite products that comes out during the year i always look forward to finest almost more than chrome it's tough that both come out actually at the same time of the year especially with chrome going up in cost as much as it is this year compared to last year with blasters being at 40 bucks rather than 35 last year and hobby boxes going from 125 up to like 180 a pretty tremendous amount of increase so the money is going to be a little bit tight I don't know if I'll be able to swing buying both of them it's going to be hard for me to decide which one I put more of an investment in but looking at finest the changes that they're making in this particular set for this year versus last year and in previous years is pretty dramatic so that is why I really want to get this information out there Alrighty guys, let's get into the Finest discussion. First thing I'll let you know is the planned release date for Finest is July 31st, two weeks from Wednesday. Wednesday is when Chrome comes out, so this product comes out two weeks after that. The major changes going into this year is that in the past few years, they have always had the two mini boxes in a hobby box. Each one of the mini boxes contained 30 cards each, with each one of the hobby boxes or mini boxes containing one autograph card. They have gotten rid of the mini boxes for this year. They are going to a straight hobby box with 10 cards per pack and 6 packs per box. So the card count is staying the same. You got 60 cards last year and you will get 60 cards this year in a hobby box. It is just a different format. One thing I did like about the mini boxes is it gave the hobby shops a chance to sell mini boxes separately. You got two mini boxes in a hobby box and quite often the hobby shops would break up a hobby box and just sell the mini boxes for $125 a piece. They won't be able to do that this year. So we will have to see if the hobby shops will be selling the packs individually. With six packs per box, that works out to be $41.67 a pack or $4.17 a card. The other thing I don't like about it from previous years with the mini boxes, you are guaranteed of getting one autograph per mini box. If you break up a hobby box this year and sell the packs individually, if you buy three packs, which would be the same cost as a mini box last year, you're not necessarily guaranteed that you're going to get an auto. If your three packs that you buy doesn't contain one of the autograph cards, then the value of those three packs is going to go down dramatically, and the chances of you getting your money back on those three packs is dramatically decreased if you don't get an auto in those three packs. We'll just have to see how that works out. There isn't much you can do about it. But we'll just have to see if the hobby shops are going to sell the packs individually this year. If they do decide to sell them individually, I might go in and buy a pack or two. But at $42 a pack, or basically $45 a pack with tax, that is a pretty steep to price to pay for six cards. And to get your money back for those six cards is uh, going to be pretty tough to do. The other major difference this year over last year is that the set goes from 125 cards to 300 cards, with some cards being more difficult to pull than others. Tops is going to a three-tiered set 
with the first 100 cards considered to be common, followed by 100 more uncommon cards, following one per pack and 100 rare cards with two typically found in each box. And looking at the checklist, the checklist is chock full of rookies. You're going to have all the major rookies from this year in it, including Jackson Holiday, Wyatt Langford, uh, Yoshinobu Yamamoto, Shota Amanaga, Heston Kierstead, Mason Wynn. So all the big rookies are going to be in this set. This is a picture of a base Jackson Holiday card. Kind of a cool card. It is uh, as finest is known for. The cards are usually quite colorful, and it looks like they've kind of ramped that up quite a bit this year. That is one beautiful card. Here is a sample of some of the inserts that you can get and parallels that you're going to be able to get in this set. There will be more than a dozen parallels that will be utilized across each of the three tiers. Each tier is basically going to have its own set of parallels in it. As far as inserts goes, Finest will serve up numerous insert sets including Finest Rookie Design Variations which comes in one in every four packs. You're going to get Future So Bright, which is one in every four packs as well. What if the 1993 Finest Prototypes, which is one in every three packs, so you'll get two of those per box. Fiestas, which is a pretty rare pull. It's one in every 288 packs. So that'll be a good chase card to get. If you get a Fiesta, that'll be a good thing. Finest Timelines, which is going to be one in every eight packs. Finest Timelines includes all-time greats, including Lou Gehrig, Hank Aaron, Willie Mays, Sandy Colfax, among many others. Diamond's Finest, which is one in every 193 packs, another rare pull. The Let's Go cards are probably going to be the rarest pull that you're going to have. That is one in every 680 packs. And then the new arrivals or the arrivals will be one in every three packs. And that will be all rookie cards. The finest first die cuts will also be rookie cards as well. You will have a chance to get autographs on some of the inserts. Not all of them, but the rookie design variations, the finest moments, the finest prototypes, the future so bright. And the finest first die cuts will all contain autograph cards or you can pull autograph cards of those inserts and those are going to be rookie cards and looking at the checklist mike trout is number one on the base common cards checklist carlos correa is number two and you can see uh, quite a few of the big rookie names are going to be in the base set as well as the uncommon set and the rare set. For example, Junior Caminero, Jackson Churio, Yamamoto, Imanaga, uh, Heston Kierstead all have cards in each one of the sets. They have a base card, they have a base uncommon card, and they have a rare card which are numbered 201 to 300. Mike Trout is the number one card in each one of the sets, but number two and so on and so forth are going to be different. The numbers don't line up from one set to the other. But the good news is, is that all the big rookies are in each one of the sets. For example, you can see Jackson Holiday is number 76 in the base set. He's going to be number 162 in the Uncommon set. And in the Rare Cards, he's going to be number 240. The way I look at it, each set is its own individual 100-card set. You're going to get basically most of the same cards in the base set that where you're going to get in the um, Uncommon set and in the Rare set. There are some slight differences between them, but... The big rookies are going to be in each one of the sets. Because when you think about it, there's going to be an autograph card of each player in each one of the sets as well. As we look at the inserts that are going to be available, the finest rookie design variation, there's a total of 20 cards in that set. And it is all the top rookies that 
came out in 2024. You got De La Cruz, you got Yamamoto, you got Wyatt Langford, Jackson Holiday, Pico Armstrong, Colton Kowser, Jason Dominguez. So all the big hits are here. The Future So Bright cards are going to contain not only the very top rookies in the set, such as Jason Dominguez and Ellie De La Cruz and Mason Wynn, they're also going to contain some of the best rookies from the last two or three years. You've got Gunnar Henderson in there. you got Corbin Carroll. you got Julio Rodriguez, Bobby Witt, Juan Soto, Fernando Tatis. So that would be a really good set to collect would be the Future So Bright cards. The What If 1993 Finest Prototypes are going to be somewhat the same thing. You do have Shohei in there. You've got Aaron Judge, you've got Pete Alonzo, but also you do have Jackson Holiday and Curtis Mead, Pico Armstrong, again, some of the top rookies. Fiesta, there's going to contain mostly the Latin stars. Love the game today. Juan Soto, Vladdy, Julio Rodriguez, uh, Luis Arias, Ellie De La Cruz, Jason Dominguez. The Diamond's Finest is going to contain, again, a combination of the t current top rookies and also the younger stars in the game as well. These Let's Go Chromes would be really a good set. It's a set of 10 cards. Mike Trout, Luis Robert, Bo Bichette. And the arrivals are going to be the top rookies in the game right now. Sedane Rafalia, Jason Dominguez, Sal Freilich, Kyle Harrison is in there. Uh, finest first cuts are going to be top rookies. I'm not going to go through each one of the insert sets and discuss the players in each set. I will slowly scroll through them so you guys get an idea of the cards that is in each one of the insert sets. Maybe call out some of the better ones or some of the ones that kind of jump out at me a little bit. For Bly 11 right here and the finest autographs, that would be, for me, that would be a really cool card to get. Uh, Daryl Strawberry's in there. That's kind of cool. David Winfield. You've got Frank Thomas. That'd be a really good one to get. The Finest Moment Autographs. Andrew Jones. You got Albert Pujols. You got A-Rod. Barry Zito. Haven't seen that name in a little while. Dwight Gooden's in there. George Brett's in there. That would be a really good one to get. Jason Veritak. John Smoltz. Randy Johnson's in the set. Sandy Colfax. That'd be awesome to pull Sandy Colfax. That'd be incredible. I can't even imagine. That's probably the most valuable card in this finest moment set. I would think would be that Sandy Colfax card. Unless there's someone. Roger Clemens. Eh. Yeah. I would say the Sandy Colfax card is probably the biggest name in that finest, finest moments autograph set. The finest prototypes autograph variation. Listen to some of these guys. Derek Jeter. You got Johnny Bench, Mark McGuire, Mike Piazza, Nolan Ryan, Wade Boggs. That Nolan Ryan card, wow. That would be an incredible pull. That's the best card in that finest prototypes autograph variation. And then the die cuts, all the big stars, all the big rookies are in there. Kowser, Evan Carter, Ellie De La Cruz, Jason Dominguez. So some really good inserts for sure. Some really good chase cards. I mean, I would love to get that Nolan Ryan card to be honest with you guys. Anyways, that is about all I've got. I just wanted to go through the finest set and show you guys what is going on with it. So you guys know what to expect when it comes out on July 31st. Looking forward to it. Again, the price point might throw me off a little bit. I don't know what you guys think of the price point. Let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think of this set. If you're going to be a buyer on this set. Or if you're going to be a passer on this set. And if you are going to be a buyer. I'd really like to see what kind of hits that you guys get out of this set. It looks on the surface like a really good set. I always love the artwork that's in Finest. I think it is one of the premier sets that comes out by Tops during the course of the year and by fanatics it is a really cool set anyways guys that is all i got for you guys please hit that like and subscribe and i also want to quick mention i do appreciate all the current subscribers to the channel it has been quite humbling to see the growth of the channel over the course of the last seven eight months 
The goal is again to push towards 1,000 by the end of the year, and I thank each one of you for helping me get to that point. Thanks, be safe, happy collecting, and have a wonderful weekend.